Have you ever pondered what it takes to convert spoken words into written form or to change one alphabet into another? Today we dive into the world of transcription and transliteration, two processes that, although seemingly similar, are distinct in their own unique ways. Imagine a world where no written records existed, where stories, instructions, and laws only passed through spoken words. Sounds chaotic, right? That's where transcription comes into play. Transcription acts as a bridge between spoken language and written text. It's a process that captures spoken language in written form, word for word, exactly how it sounds. On the other hand, picture a world where you're handed a book written in an alphabet completely foreign to you. It's akin to staring at a coded message with no key. This is where transliteration comes to the rescue. It's the process of converting letters or words from one alphabet or script into another, not based on what they mean, but based on how they sound. While both transcription and transliteration deal with conversion, they serve different purposes. Transcription focuses on preserving the sound of language when it's transferred from speech to text. It's about capturing the essence of spoken language in a written form. It's the tool that allows us to document conversations, speeches and interviews, making them accessible for future reference. Transliteration, however, doesn't concern itself with the meaning of the words. Instead, it focuses on the phonetic consistency ensuring the words from one script can be pronounced correctly when converted into another script. It's the process that has allowed the ancient Greek text to be read and pronounced by those who only know the Latin alphabet or the Russian literature to be accessed by English readers. But it's essential to remember that while transliteration maintains phonetic consistency, it doesn't guarantee comprehension. Transliteration can help you pronounce a foreign word correctly, but without understanding the language itself, the meaning remains elusive. Moreover, transcription is not a one-size-fits-all process. Various forms of transcription exist, each with a different level of detail. Some capture every utterance, pause, and tone, while others only record the essential points. The form used often depends on the purpose of the transcription. In conclusion, transcription and transliteration are two distinct yet interconnected processes. Transcription is the conversion of spoken language into written text, maintaining the essence of the spoken word, while transliteration is the conversion of one alphabet into another, ensuring phonetic consistency but not necessarily comprehension. Both processes are fundamental in our globalized world bridging gaps between different languages and scripts, and enabling communication and comprehension across cultures. Yet, they serve different purposes, transcription for documentation and understanding, and transliteration for pronunciation and accessibility. So the next time you read a foreign name or a transcribed interview, remember the intricate processes of transcription and transliteration that made it possible for you to read and understand those words.